I greet you in Jesus' precious name. I want to go straight to the Word of God. I would like you to turn with me to the book of Hebrews. Hebrews in the New Testament, chapter 7, and I'm reading one verse, verse 22. By so much more, Jesus has become a surety. That's a guarantee. A surety of a better covenant. When you meet Jesus, you don't have to work for your salvation. You have to trust God for your salvation, and you have to believe. Then we go to Psalm 119, and I'm reading verse 122. Be surety for your servant for good. Do not let the proud oppress me. I looked up the Oxford Dictionary to find out the literal meaning of the word surety. It is a guarantee. It's when somebody stands guarantee for you or me. Someone who takes responsibility. In other words, payment of a debt. I want to say to you, that's what Jesus did for me. Has he done it for you? Well, I couldn't go on anymore. I couldn't take it. Too much pressure, too much responsibility. I was going one way. I couldn't sleep at night. I would just lie there in a cold sweat knowing I had to wake up the next day. I was a one-man show. There was nobody else on this farm. My children were all small. I was a newcomer in the district. I'd come all the way from Zambia. The people were very kind to me, but I didn't know them. I had no guarantee that anybody was going to help me. And uh, then one day I went to church and I found a surety, a guarantee that I will never, ever forget. Jesus paid for all my debts. And I would go to him and say, Lord, you know, I, 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 can, I can never, ever say thank you enough. And he showed me like a list of all the things that I'd done through my life. The terrible things that I'd done. The terrible things that I'd thought. And he took that account, which the devil was pushing in my face continually. And he just wrote next to it, paid, 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 paid. And then he took it and he crumpled it up and he threw it into a pond and he put up a big sign and on the sign was no fishing. <laughs> Your sins have been forgiven. Your debt has been paid. You may go free, but Lord, but Lord, don't ask any questions. And there's a problem. Somebody watching this program, always asking a question. Can the Lord for... Yes, He can, and He did. And He paid it in full. No, no, but the Lord can never pay for the terrible things that I've done. I want to say to you, sir, the biggest sin that you can ever commit is when you say, Lord, you have not paid enough for my sin. That will hurt our Heavenly Father. He will ask you a question. Do you want me to put my son on the cross for a second time for your sins? I'm not prepared to do that. What you must do is say, thank you. Thank you, Lord. A young man was invited. He got a full bursary to go to university in America. He arrived on the day with all his gear. He said to the, the, the registrar, Madam, I've arrived. My name is John Brown. She looked up, she said, John Brown, your name's not here. He said, it must be, they've accepted me. Oh, she says, there's something written here. Just hang on a minute. Oh, your bursary has been rescinded because you didn't say thank you. Can you believe that? That's all. And that's a true story. Say thank you and don't argue. He is your guarantee. God bless you and goodbye.